Much of the hype for Grand Theft Auto 6 comes from its predecessor's continuous success over the last decade, but next to nothing is known about it. Rockstar has yet to officially show it off, and the leaks that took place last year were incredibly early in development. However, one key detail that is encouraging is Grand Theft Auto 6 purported return to Vice City. One of the charms of GTA 5 open world is that it lets players do almost anything. Players can go from shooting down everything in sight to flying a jet in a matter of minutes. It's like a third-person shooter, action RPG, racing game, and flight simulator rolled into one game if pulling a little bit from here and a little bit from there. It can be a nightmare to design and develop a wide range of mechanics, so the controls ended up being clunky. Shooting can be inaccurate, cars can be difficult to handle, and while it's all workable, there is always a slight feeling of jank, if in the best way sometimes. The sequel doesn't need to have the precise and streamlined gunplay of PUBG or the extensive plane controls of Microsoft Flight Simulator. It just needs to make it easier for players to control their characters. If Grand Theft Auto 6 Bonnie and Clyde style campaign manages to improve this while introducing new elements, that would go a long way. While GTA 5 plot offered a thrilling look into the criminal underworld of Los Santos, it doesn't really have much to offer beyond its main storyline. One high point of the franchise that did have a lot to offer beyond the campaign is GTA 4. Its main plot explores the corrupting nature of greed, gang violence, and the exploitation of immigrant workers in America, and then the game expands on these themes further in its DLCs The Lost and The Damned and The Ballad of Gay Tony. The expansion storylines are connected, so players get to see the conflict between the lost biker gang and Anthony Gay Tony Prince from two different perspectives. Unfortunately, players couldn't find such an immersive expansion from GTA 5, as all its post-launch content is for online play only. But this is something GTA 6 can course correct. GTA 6 will reportedly have new cities as DLCs, which should hopefully open up fresh plot points if they're not entirely multiplayer focused. It's also clear that Rockstar has the chops to make great single-player DLC, meaning it should go all-in with this eventual sequel.